Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint list attachments. So basically, here we will see how exactly list attachments are stored in SharePoint and we will see how we can enable or disable attachments in SharePoint online list. So let me open a SharePoint site. So if you'll see here, this is a SharePoint site, modern site, and I have a modern SharePoint list. So whatever we will see here, the same way it will work in classic list also. So now if you will see here in this list, if I will click on new, so basically it will open the new item where I have the attachment field and I can click on this attachment and I can store at, store this or you can save this item. Now if I will open any classic SharePoint list, for example, this is another site and you can see this is a classic SharePoint list and on this you can see here there is items and over there you can see there is an attach file button so why it is disabled now because once i'll select one item you can see here the attach file button is enabled and you can actually click over here and you can save this attachment so you can see here i will select from here click on open click on ok and the attachments will get stored for this item so for this item now there is an attachment if you'll we'll click on this you can see it here you can see this is the attachment apart from that also when you edit an item that time also you will see here the option is there so you can go here you can attach a file just click on ok and once you save there will be another attachment for this item you can see here now there are two attachments on this so this is how in classic SharePoint list you can add the attachments. But now coming back to our modern list. So here if you will look at this, in this list, when you click on this attachment, I will show you. So I will add something over here, some item. So you can see and I will click on this attachment and I will click on this. So basically there is an attachment and uh, you can also add multiple attachments here i will click on the second one you can see two attachments are there now click on save so once you click on save there are two attachments now in this this item so if you'll click on this you'll be able to see here there is two list attachments or attachments in that list item so i will add one more item and here i will say let's say i'll put another name here and uh, i will click over here I can click this I will add one more attachment here I'll click on save so now exactly if you see here now the first item will have been two attachments the second item will also have been two attachments now let us exactly understand how the attachments are stored so if I'll click on this first item and I'll copy this link so I'll just say copy link under address and I will save it here the other item you can see here I will save it here so this is basically for the first item so I'll close this I will click over here the second item and I will copy this one and this one also now if you look at this carefully actually what is happening is you have a list as employees you can see here everywhere and then there is an attachment kind of folder and with that there is another folder which is saying 23 and then your attachment dot one dot docx so this is basically the attachment file now for the second item you can see here 23 same attachment to docx and for this one for this uh, second item if you will see here it created one folder as 24 and then attachment 2 and attachment 3 now what are these two things this 23 and 24 actually this 23 and 24 are the item id so if you look at this column you can see here there is an item id having 23 and this one having 24 now what i'll do is on this 24 item i will edit this and i will try to add one more attachment and let let me try with the same attachment 3 which is already exist there once you click on over here you can see here it's, it didn't allow us so it just took that item but if I will actually uh, take the other one, so let's say I will take the four one, you can see here, now it is adding that attachment, click on save, so it, it saved this. Now for this modern experience, you didn't see that error, but let me go back to the classic site, and if you'll see here, this is the first item, if you will click over here, 
there are two attachments attachment one and attachment two let me edit this item and we will try to attach the file let's say the second one so you can see this one i'll click on ok now you can see here second attachment is already there i'll click on save the moment i click on save it is saying that a file with the same name already exists so you cannot add this so once you go back you can actually choose a different file you can choose any different file so for example i'll select this one and i'll click on ok now i will save so it actually allowed me to save this so basically when you have one folder within that you cannot have multiple files with the same name that is the reason it is not allowing us and this is how exactly the attachments are getting stored now coming back to if you, how we can enable or disable this attachment field so that a lot of time what will happen is you might not want this attachment column altogether and if i'll click on this edit form edit columns i'll not have that option here so for that what you can do is you can go to the list settings page so i click on the gear icon then list settings and then click on advanced settings and in the advanced settings there is an option where it is which is saying attachments and you can see here it is enabled so if you'll say disabled and if you'll scroll down and click on ok so what it is saying is once you disable then all these attachments will be deleted so all this whatever the attachments you have all this will get deleted so click on ok and now if you'll go back here you will not see any attachment first of all that means all the attachments whatever you have done it is deleted so make sure uh, when you will you will try to disable it make sure that you will you would, should know that the attachments will get deleted now if i'll click on new item you, you will see that there is no attachment uh, column here so you cannot attach a file here so similarly if you want to enable this just go to the same list settings and uh, go to the advanced settings and you can see here just enable it and it is saying add the attachment column to the default view so that means it will be added to the default view you can in click on ok so once you click on ok you will come back and click on new item you will see the attachment option here so this is how we can enable and disable the attachments now if you like the video uh, kindly subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 power platform spfx so all these things you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day